It's breezy here. We still have that red flag warning that's in effect. If there is a new fire that starts in LA city limits, the fire department can use those drones to help the crews on the ground. A small drone surveys the Skirball Fire burn area in Bel Air. It's owned and operated by the Los Angeles Fire Department. The high definition video it captures is sent to a battalion chief's vehicle in real time. I can fly about three or 400 feet above where you all are and still see the license plate on this vehicle. The LA Fire Department Foundation has raised money to buy a handful of drones so far. The pilot project was put to the test during the Skirball Fire. This drone, equipped with an infrared camera, checked for hot spots and measured the temperature. The helicopters flew that information, flew that same path the night before, but they were only able to put it on plots on a map. We were able to fly it, provide that information in real time, and then allow the incident commanders the next day to downscale some of the resources that they were planning to put here. The unmanned aerial system is cheaper to fly than a helicopter and can quickly give the incident commander a first-hand look at what's happening instead of getting the information over the radio. It really fills that gap between boots on the ground and the assets we have in the air. People flying their personal drones over previous fires have grounded firefighting aircraft, but the fire department can fly these drones because they're able to communicate while using the same airspace. At any point in time, the pilot on board that aircraft, uh, the helicopter, or the Helco commander can make the call to have us down our, our drones so that we are always maintaining a separation and safety in flight. And the fire department says these drones can also be used, for example, during a swift water rescue to locate a victim in the water and also during search and rescue operations for a missing hiker in the Santa Monica Mountains.